Hey brothers and sisters, thank you for clicking. It really means a lot to me. This video is me with my limited understanding of things, trying to explain and simultaneously figure out why some celebrities are sometimes mean and we all gain at least some valuable perspective from all this. A lot of the successful celebrities became successful because they wanted to prove themselves to people who looked down on them or insulted them or treated them as expendable or just plain told them to their face that they does not have what it takes. So part of the driving forces of their success is revenge. They are a bit distrustful. They lash out at the naysaying types. A lot of people develop certain complexes during the struggling stages of their lives. Though these things can happen mid-career too like after they already acquired their celebrity status, the need for vengeance can change you. The pressure of achieving or maintaining success can be draining. It really taxes on your patience, which is one of the pillars of your good side. You may not be able to maintain your sweet side as much when you have tough competition from your contemporaries or the maintenance of your ratings or your popularity requires your schedule to be filled up to the brink. It can shorten your temper or rude directness may replace your inherent politeness when you socially partake. When celebrities' popularity or ratings go down, a lot of them say they feel drained of purpose, desperate, bitter, depressed, purposeless, defeated and their personalities may lose their glow. A lot of controversies surrounding former child stars are examples for this. Arrogance Arrogance that they always had as inherent in their character. Example like superiority complex that they developed very early in life. Paparazzi is provoking them beyond limits or intentionally touching their mental nerves to provoke them and recording their less than stellar moments for their own ratings. The giving in to the temptation of popularity or power or lust or money can change you. Poverty, presence of more authority in or above your social classes, other social constraints, unbendability of law, believing in comeuppances, all may decrease considerably once you become popular or powerful or successful or rich or whatever and the evil side that every human has may have lesser forces to keep them in check. And if your moral foundations are not fortified enough, then the avalanche of temptation may overwhelm you. Celebrities sometimes behave noticeably differently to promote their ongoing or upcoming projects or to boost their image or sometimes they exaggerate some of their quirky traits. Celebrities sometimes create voluntary controversies to pull the spotlight towards them and the news medias are all for it. They lap it up because it boosts their own ratings. Mainstream news media pray for daily controversies when they leave home for work in the morning and some celebrities are only happy to oblige because they want to stay on our focuses, because it's part of their profession. Especially when their careers are going through a dry spell or they have an upcoming or ongoing project which they want to boost, etc. And they don't want us to forget them. So some may create fake controversies by being mean or weird publicly. Another thing of the same context is that the exact recipient or consumers or the audience of some particular fields of some celebrities, whether they initially sought and voluntarily selected that field or not, these audiences may expect different or unconventional things of them. Especially if the star's field is in any way related to politics, their fans expect a special kind of behavior and character and opinions from the star. A star may always have to look into what her or his audience, the recipients of her or his products want and it may or may not be what she or he plans to give them as it is in any business. So she or he slowly tweaks his character or creates a fake or modified on stage or social persona to exhibit to her or his fans. For example, a star in a niche genre of media has fans who are more receptive to her or his rebellious side and she or he usually eventually will try to exhibit that side of her or him more or create a fake version of himself for the public or will outright decide to be a rebel everywhere. 
and then there is the problem of the fake public persona actually assimilating into his real character usually boosted by the apparent positive reception and or the apparent liberation sensation of letting go and thus her or his personality gets actually altered be it for success or profit or for giving into the need of external validation as a side note fame can go to your head and you can get fame high and it may loosen up your character or uh, integrity or your principles the actual point here is the general public the people who are not particular fans of her or him will see this changed persona or character and if it has changed for the apparent anti social side they infer that she or he has become arrogant or rude or narcissistic or whatever this point can be seen as a continuation of the first point like the collective media industry has a really dark side to it we can say maybe all artists have a dark side because their imagination takes them everywhere and it's a big business so media businessmen are extremely powerful so every celebrity has had bad experiences and some get through to the psyche of some celebrities more than others due to such experiences some celebrities might become really insecure and some might already have insecurities and the bad external stimuli the trauma pronounces these insecurities famous people can have really bad experiences with the paparazzi with the fans fellow artists harassment casting couch contract exploitation other exploitations hackers messing with their privacy blackmail other payment issues an acknowledgement of their talents self perceived or not social media investment managers the public reactions to wardrobe malfunctions etc and all these can leave a pretty bitter taste this may turn them very and distrustful towards at least some aspects of their celebrity life their distrust can outwardly manifest as some public clashes with the public bad experiences with the media industry are especially devastating to the people who are extra trustful there are people whose uh, general demeanor comes off as rather rude and unpolished but they may be of warm personalities inside their polite sides may not shine through and are not easily conveyed externally because they appear gruff outside so these are cases of misunderstanding and misreadings on the public's part though not their faults gruff is a real word right over a general discussion we can say that some celebrities face the dark side of the public and their own industry sometimes too late and we can also say that the public the consumers of this media are neither their friends nor enemies but some celebrities seem to create loyal fandoms that defend them but even ultra fandoms have dark ones in them the public that is us can be fickle or judgmental extremely critical and sometimes unreasonable while ignoring context the general humdums when dealing with a large population but this video is in no way understand this please no way defending anti socialness of celebrities and one of the reasons i have already given is general arrogance people with uh, intrinsic dark character flaws that they never bother to cleanse themselves of and we have lots of examples of such celebrities too but i want to come clean i feel sympathy for most of these celebrities in conclusion this is why fame and power grooming is essential when you start your career if you want to be famous make sure you already have at least some mental constructs in place to counteract all this because even your smallest mistakes can be very public and scrutinized upon let us further educate each other on the comment section comment your own findings and opinions regarding this below please like share subscribe if you like the video thank you for watching